Today's the day. Hopefully. Maybe. Sort of. So, uh, yeah. Here's the head. Still out of the engine. Just wanted to take one last look at it before it hopefully goes back in today. <clears throat> and after watching a couple of other people's videos, I've noticed how lucky I've been. Like, if you if you look at all this, like, it's it's really clean. There's no sludge build up. It's, it's just, it's really nice. The only problem was that, um, previous owner, I'd almost say, like, 100% that they used some kind of, uh, stop leak in the coolant system. So, I mean, the coolant system is clogged up but I mean for the most part all the oil channels and everything they're nice and clean nothing looks broken nothing looks cracked or damaged here's the top of the, uh, the engine so for the most part I mean they don't look too bad they have a little bit of rust on them I didn't really keep them sealed this took way longer than I thought it would but I've learned so much on this engine like it's ridiculous well, at the beginning of this, if you look at the beginning, I didn't even know what a freeze plug was. And now, well, I've gotten a lot farther. So the only thing I could see is in the back, the coolant jackets look a little mucked up. Can't tell though. For the most part, they seem like they seal though. Or they, they, they go through, they don't seal. I tried to clean as much as possible out of, uh, that hole. So that's just a little tiny dusty remnants. So hopefully now, you know, coolant will move about the engine and uh, the heat might work now that it's summertime and I won't need it. <laughs> but hey, it's a good time to see if the uh, air compressor, air, air conditioner works. So yeah, it's time to put the head on. Bolt number 11, I believe it's this one. <clears throat> it's either this one or this one. Let's see. This one or this one? This one. This one. I guess this is numbered bolt number 11. Uh, if you notice, you can see it from the coolant jacket. Like, that's my finger down there. Um, so that bolt goes through the coolant jacket. And uh, to prevent coolant from, I guess, moving up that bolt thread, you're supposed to use a Loctite. Number 592. It's generally red, so I am going to put Loctite on that bolt. Uh, another thing, uh, the bolt all the way back here, I don't know the specific number of that one, but um, you're supposed to put the bolt into the head first. So you got to make sure that this bolt is inside the head when you go to install it, because um, you can't remove that bolt. This, uh, this piece of metal right here gets in the way, so you can't remove the bolt. And that also means you can't put the bolt back in. So, just don't forget about that. One bolt needs to be put in, the other one needs to be locked tight. They're both on the driver's side. So, we'll take it from there. So here we are. Got our bolts here. This is the driver's side bolts. The, uh, the one in the far back is already in the uh, block. So that's why there's only six here instead of seven. And uh, there's the passenger side bolts. <laughs> all lined up from uh, left to right, front to back. Uh, for the bolt in the back, this is my little trick. It's uh, duct tape. Just have duct tape around it so that way it doesn't fall in all the way. So you can take it out and it just drops. But um, that way you can install it on the engine without it getting caught and everything. Uh, I saw other people online use um, like vacuum hose or something, but I mean, if you're in a real tight pinch, just use a little duct tape. That's all. And uh, the gasket, there's a big old thing that says top. That faces up, if you couldn't figure that out. So uh, we're picking up the, uh, the red thread sealant for the bolt up here. And then we can start putting everything together. So I'm going to try and pick this thing up and do my daily exercise for the day. There goes nothing. Okay. Here we are. Here's our uh, thread sealant. You don't want thread locker. I mean, I guess you could use that too. But for this application, we need sealant to seal the bolt because you're trying to keep water from coming up. 
So that's what it looks like. It looks really strange with the uh, the head back on the engine. It looks a lot bigger. I mean, this thing's pretty fucking big, and that's it doesn't even have the valve cover on it. Like, it almost doesn't look like it fits inside there. But I guess it does. Amazingly enough. So yeah, got that bolt in there in the back. Duct tape worked pretty well. It's on there a little too sticky. I'd use a razor blade to cut it off. Also, uh, the temperature sensor unit we never took out, so it's still in there. So now we just put the bolts in and torque them down in a, a specific pattern. It's a three-step torque pattern. Uh, you start at the middle and you work your way out, going back and forth until you're done. You tighten it all down once, tighten it all down twice, and then finally a third time. This bolt in the front that's getting the, uh, the sealant also has a different torque spec for the third step. I think it's torqued like 10 to 15 foot-pounds less, but uh, yeah. That's about it. So, sitting there, torquing away. Whoopee. Here we are. All bolts have been torqued down correctly. Uh, in case you guys want to know, step two is 22, or, uh, step, step one is 22 foot pounds. Step two is 45 foot pounds. And the third step is 110 foot pounds. Except for this guy with the sealant, which was just 100. Uh, for that one in the back, instead of using a, uh, a long extension, we were a little risky and just used a, a regular size and just didn't, we, we couldn't fit the ratchet on all the way. But, uh, it's torqued down. Checked them all. There are 110. So now it's time to put the push rods in, put the rocker arms on, all that other good stuff. Then we'll put the valve cover on and call it a day. It's getting there. Here they all are, in whatever order they were. I don't remember which one was first, but... They're in some kind of order. So, here we are. All the uh, rocker arms, push rods, bridges, bolts, they're all in there. Everything's torqued down to uh, 17 foot-pounds, or 19 foot-pounds, or 20, something like that. I don't know. 20 is like the lowest that thing could go. But, uh, for the most part, they're all lined up. So, that's as far as we got so far. Head's back on, everything else is on. Just need to get a, I'm going to get a new, uh, better gasket for the valve cover. And then everything can start going back together. We're almost there. Look at what we got today. Got a lovely valve cover gasket for a valve cover. Or a rocker arm cover gasket, whatever the hell you want to call this motherfucker. Felpro, man. Oh yeah. So, here's our beautiful gasket today. Just picked this up, fresh out the store. It's got it's uh it's got rubber and it's got metal in the middle. Keep this strong and easy to install. It's uh it's a little hefty on price. The place I picked it up at was uh 40 bucks, but with a couple discounts I dropped down to 32. So not too bad. So let's uh put this together. The uh, the torque specifications on this are in inch pounds, so it kind of doesn't matter. 55 inch pounds of torque, or four and a half foot pounds, which is you know nothing. It's enough to be called tight, and that's it. Cover side, look, it's it's even labeled cover side and the engine side, the not cover side. So uh. This kind of looks like the direction of which it would sit on. Like so. Let's put the back in first. Wow, look at that fit. It's like it was made for the engine or something. Beautiful. It's a little bent over there, but no biggie. I don't know if there's any RTV or anything. Maybe I'll read that paper. I would be Bach. Okay, here we are. We got the uh, valve cover on with the gasket. No bolts yet. Um, if you guys are trying to have an issues with it, it shouldn't be that hard to try and slip this thing uh, on and off the vehicle. Uh, rotate it to the left a little so that it's sitting like this. Um, let me see if I can pick it up one-handed. Try and slide it out like that because it won't come straight up. So you got to rotate it on an angle to get it out. And same goes for putting it back in. <clears throat> so it's not that difficult. Uh, gasket sticks out a little bit so you can see it. It looks all cool. It's nice and blue. So that's cool. So on your valve cover head, uh, you've got 
two different kinds of bolts, or at least I do. Uh, you have the regular bolts. They all have crush washers on them. I'm going to reuse them. Uh, and then there's three other ones that uh, have studs on the top. And those studs uh, are there to hold um, plastic uh, clips. And it holds the um, it holds wires in place. I don't know what the wires are exactly. The, uh, the fuel injector wires. So they, they rest up here. And uh, that's what those three wires or uh, bolts do. So if you're trying to remember where they go, uh, it starts after the third bolt on the, the head. So you have bolt one, bolt two, bolt three. Or if you want to look at the valve cover, if that makes more sense, you have this one in the front, one, two, three. So it's bolt number four, number five, and number six. And there's also one more there. That's this uh, regular bolt. So yeah, you just tighten these bolts down enough to be called tight. Five foot-pounds of torque isn't that much. So we use our little dinky uh, set right here. And we'll put all those bolts in. And uh, it's pretty easy. All right, there we are. All the bolts are torqued down to basically what I thought would be an appropriate amount of tightness. Um, and I worked my way from the front back once and then did it again. And uh, they all feel pretty tight now. And just to show you guys those pins, now that they're actually installed, they should look like that, okay? So from the front of the engine, one, two, three, four, five, six. So they are four, five, six from the front on the driver's side. And uh, don't forget about that bolt in the back. That guy, I used a, um, a uh, pivot and then an extension to get that one in the back. So yeah, don't forget about that one. All right, I mean, at this point, it would be time to put oil in the engine if uh, the rest of the engine was still here. It's kind of not, as you can tell. So I'm gonna continue doing things. All right, uh, one more thing before I leave, just to show you those connectors I was talking about. These are the plastic clips that go on, they just push on. Um, but yeah, there's three of them, and they, uh, they hold this wire up. So they just snap in place. Just a little clip that holds them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let that sit up there for now. Uh, there's a lot of fucking shit. Look at all that. Look at all that, man. And the wires and stuff, man. What the hell are you gonna do with that shit? But yeah, just wanted to show you guys. That's what the clips look like. Okay.